Welcome to the Learning Academy. Today we'll be exploring China's revelation in regards to the details of their new next generation crew spacecrafts and the respective test flights that these spacecrafts have been involved in. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned and watch the video from start to finish. China's next generation crew spacecraft remains unnamed. However, it has been touted to have gone through a lot of experiments during the last month's test flight to orbit. First glimpse inside the prototype of China's next generation crew carrying spacecraft has been provided in Beijing following a successful uncrewed test flight in May 2020. The capsule, which has not yet been named, was launched on a long March 5B rocket from Wenshang on May 5th, carrying out a first uncrewed test for future deep space missions. The new two-module spacecraft performed well in orbit, and the crew capsule returned to Earth on May 8th, testing a high-speed atmospheric re-entry that the spacecraft needs to survive in order to safely bring astronauts home from the moon. The crew capsule survived temperatures of around 5,432 degrees Fahrenheit or 3,000 degrees Celsius during its re-entry to Earth. The capsule provides 459 cubic feet or 13 cubic meters of internal space which will allow six or seven astronauts to ride inside the craft. China's current crew spacecraft, the Shenzhou, can carry only three astronauts. An observation of the inside of the new spacecraft shows a living zone on the left, which includes a toilet and a folding dining table. There were also storage bags and racks on the right, during the test transport capacity of the mission. The test flight overall verified numerous technologies and returned data for a range of experiments. It has been stated that they opened the return capsule and retrieved the data from the black box, including the data about the force and heat as well as the temperature data which was related to the aerodynamic heating so they can get more data to test their re-entry and return technologies and all other critical technologies designer of the next generation crew spaceship is guo bing and he works with the china academy of space technology or cast. Guo has stated that the flight proved new heat shielding technologies and aerodynamic configurations of the spacecraft. Experiments aboard the spacecraft included a 3D printing system for microgravity experiments, a gigabit level high speed communication between the ground and the spacecraft and an on-orbit leakage and collision detection experiment that uses sound waves. The crew capsule also carried nearly 4.4 pounds or 2 kilograms of seeds for space irradiation experiments. Cosmic radiation, microgravity and other factors combined to generate mutations of the crops, genetic material which may prove beneficial and lead to the cultivation of new varieties of plants. The mission was overall a huge success for China. The launch qualified the Long March 5B rocket to begin launching modules for the planned Chinese space station. The performance of the new generation spacecraft means a crude test flight could follow to the station in the future. Two versions of the new spacecraft are in development, 
one will be capable of carrying six astronauts or three astronauts and 1,100 pounds or 500 kilograms of cargo to the space station. Other spacecraft will be capable of more demanding missions to deep space, which will involve harsher radiation environments and greater re-entry velocities. The spacecraft's docking system suggests that it could dock with the International Space Station. China, however, is not part of the International Space Station program. Next generation Chinese capsule that was designed to carry astronauts to China's planned space station and eventually the moon wrapped up a nearly three-day unpiloted orbital test flight on Friday with a landing in northwestern China. The prototype for China's new reusable human-rated spaceship landed in China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region at 5.49 GMT Friday, according to the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, who is the primary state-owned contractor for the country's space programs. The capsule descended under three main parachutes and inflated airbags to cushion its landing in a remote part of northwestern China, punctuating a high-speed re-entry designed to simulate conditions the spacecraft would encounter during a return from the moon. Chinese state media has released several photos of the capsule after landing, showing the spacecraft's heat shield blackened from the intense heat of atmospheric re-entry. The test vehicle lifted off on top of a Chinese heavy lift Long March 5B rocket, which is a new variant of China's most powerful launch vehicle that was designed to carry massive modules into orbit for China's planned space station. A secondary payload on the launch was designed to test an inflatable heat shield, but this malfunctioned during its return to Earth. After separating from the Long March 5B rocket, the crew capsule raised its altitude in a series of seven maneuvers ultimately reaching an elliptical orbit ranging as far as 5,000 miles or 8,000 kilometers from Earth. The spacecraft extended power generating solar panels and deployed a communications antenna to send and receive data from ground controllers. The ship also hosted several space science and technology experiments including a 3D printer demonstration. The spacecraft spent more than two days and 19 hours in orbit. The capsule completed a deorbit born using its braking rockets at 4.22 GMT. Then it jettisoned its service module at 5.33 GMT to burn up during re-entry. The crew module plunged back into the atmosphere at more than 20,000 miles per hour or 9 kilometers per second. It then unfurled two drug parachutes and three main chutes. Before landing, the capsule inflated six airbags to soften the impact of touchdown. The primary objective of the crew capsule's demonstration flight was to gather data on the heat shield's performance and the spacecraft's aerodynamic shape during re-entry. The new crew carrier is designed to eventually replace China's Shenzhou spacecraft to ferry astronauts to a space station in Earth's orbit. The new capsule is designed larger than the Shenzhou. It will be capable of carrying astronauts to the moon and can accommodate up to seven crew members at a time which is greater than the amount that Shenzhou can carry. In a different configuration, the crew capsule could launch and land with three astronauts, plus up to 1,100 pounds. 
The capability will allow China to return research specimens and hard hardware from the country's space station back to Earth. The Shenzhou crew craft can return only a limited amount of cargo, and China's Tianzhou supply ship for the country's planned space station is not designed to bring any cargo back to the Earth. The new Chinese crew vehicle also has an unfolding shield that opens in flight to expose the capsule's rendezvous sensors and docking mechanism. The cover folds up again for re-entry, which protects the sensitive equipment during landing. China's next generation crew carrier is reusable for up to 10 flights, with a detachable heat shield built to handle higher temperature returns through Earth's atmosphere, such as those a capsule would encounter on a re-entry from a lunar mission. Like the new capsule design, the Shenzhou landing model returns under parachutes, but the Shenzhou uses retro rocket thrusters instead of earbags to soften the blow of landing. That makes for a rougher ride for passengers. With its propulsion and power module, the crew spacecraft measured nearly 29 feet long and is almost 15 feet in diameter at its widest point. It weighed around 47,600 pounds and if it was fully loaded with equipment and propellant. The new craft's return module has 12 control thrusters fed by non-toxic fuel. The landing craft also houses avionics, computers, star trackers and other valuable equipment that can be reused. It has been stated that the new capsule is able to operate with autonomy including a capability to self-diagnose technical problems. This has been a review and an overview of China's next generation spacecrafts. These spacecrafts are said to be autonomous and of course they are reusable. They are very spacious and can carry up to seven astronauts. They have a lot of sophisticated scientific and technological equipment aboard for science and technological experiments. Spacecraft is also equipped with solar panels so that it can build and create its own energy from the sun. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what your feedback is in regards to this new technological marvel that is being designed by China's space program. Let me know how it compares to other space programs across the world. Remember to subscribe if you have not already done so. Like or dislike to give us your feedback and leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching the Learning Academy.